So we're going to put together a quick video today on the type of repellent sprays that work the best on deer ticks. So I live in an area in southern Vermont, it's in New England, where the tick population is ever increasing. Uh, the months of April to August are the highest, and then it takes a dip in September, and from November to December, we see an increase, typically. Now, when we look at the three products we use the most, uh, these are the three we see the most, and they have different varying uses. One is organic, it's pretty much a, a essential oil. The other has a chemical in it. The last one, it's a little stronger. So the first one we're gonna talk about is the ultimate insect repellent. This is the one that has essential oils mostly. So what we did was we created a circle ring around a nymph black-legged deer tip male that was actually found on my son. Uh, it didn't bite him, but we did pull it off. And you can see that the tick in the center of the ring surrounded by the liquid is sort of not going one way or the other. It's a bit confused. You can tell that it, the repellent is sort of working. Um, it's kind of keeping it away, but it's not actually stopping it from moving. Um, this spray, typically we use early season. Uh, it smells great. It's loaded with tons of essential oils. It keeps away mosquitoes and whatnot. Uh, but we never know its true effectiveness on ticks. So as you can see, uh, the tick seems to be backing off and kind of walking in circles and is a bit confused, uh, which I guess I'm not a scientist, but uh, it leads me to believe that the liquid actually works. Uh, we did use a ring of water, which I didn't show in this video, to sort of uh, use as a control, and the tick went right through the water, no big deal. The next uh, spray is the Natropel. It has a chemical that I really can't uh, say very well, but you can look it up. Uh, this one works great on mosquitoes. Uh, it seems to work pretty good on ticks. Uh, it smells great. Uh, it's one of the type of sprays we can put on our kids and not feel terrible about. Although uh, you should do your own research, of course. Uh, with this video, you can see the tick is really confused, kind of staying in the middle. It seems to be repelled, even though it's pretty far away from the liquid. Uh, this was a pretty solid spray that I put on here. And I believe I sort of Yep, I kind of move it a little closer to the liquid just to see uh, how well it actually works. One thing you notice right away is just the size of the tick. They're very hard to find. Uh, when they're on your skin, it's really tough to notice. And uh, one of my sons has very long hair, and it's really hard to find these ticks this time of year on them. But as you can see, the tick seems to be repelled by the liquid as it gets close to it. It seems to move pretty fast away. And uh, that leads me to believe that this spray works pretty good at repelling. Again, we love the scent. We love, well, I don't say we love it, but we like the scent and it does keep away mosquitoes as well. Uh, it's a great mask. The next product is the permethrin. This is the Sawyer spray. Uh, this is more of a treatment. We use this on clothes that we don't wash often when we go deep into the woods. Uh, it's supposed to be one of the best products out here. Uh, what we really like about it is the fact that we can spray clothes that we know when we go in the woods uh, have been treated. This is not something you want to spray on your skin. Again, I don't, I'm not trying to endorse or dissuade you from any of these products, but I do want you to do your own research. Don't take my word for it, please. Uh, but one thing that's really interesting about this spray is the fact that it doesn't just repel, it actually kills ticks. And um, that blue mark there really doesn't mean a whole lot. It's just an overspray. I used a regular 11, 8 by 11 uh, sheet of paper to spray the repellent around um, just to kind of show its use and where it exists. Uh, that's just marker to help see the uh, spray a little better, but I really did need to use it. So one thing that's really interesting about this is it doesn't really stop the tick from pushing away from the spray liquid. Uh, so it doesn't act as much as a repellent as it does a, uh, 
I guess, an extermination liquid. Uh, and later in this video, and as we get closer, you'll see, kind of makes the decision, Tick kind of makes the decision to step into the liquid. And from there, we notice that when ticks die, their legs curl up. They don't only not move, but their legs curl up, and that's a usually a good case to see that they are, in fact, uh, dead. So getting into it, you can see that the tick is moving right into the spray liquid here. It's not as much repelled, but what happens is the tick kind of stands up on its back legs um, and kind of falls over on its back and slowly stops moving. So based on that, and you can sort of see its legs curl up, the tick is actually dead from the permethrin. So one thing that's interesting to note, uh, any product that can kill insects, and in this case, I believe ticks are more of the spider family than anything else, the arachnid family, uh, it could harm humans. So take that with a grain of salt and do your own research. But you can see the difference with the sprays compared to the uh, permethrin, which actually kills the tick. So again, I'm not a scientist. I am just someone who's trying to protect my family and looking for the products out there that exist. I can do so. Do your own research. But um, this is one video that I thought would be pretty cool to share and show how these products actually work. Uh, last disclaimer, I'm not denouncing or endorsing any of these products. They're just ones that we seem to like over the years and uh, seem to work, but nothing beats checking for ticks nightly throughout the season. Um, there are other things out there as well, but we just want you to be tick safe and tick smart. Thanks again for watching.